Okay, number one, my hair is wet and disgusting. Number two, this is my first ever sit down talky video. I have no script, so we'll just see how this goes. And number three, my laptop is currently balanced on a friend's box set and a hat box. So, if it jiggles, that's what it is. Hello and welcome to Vida Day 4. And isn't my mug cute? It was um, given to me by my best friend Bethany. So um, today was exam results day in Scotland. So we stayed up all last night until about 2 in the morning I think I got my results. And I was a happy lady. Is it obnoxious to see my results? I got seven A's. <laughs> Which is, um, a pretty damn good result, if I do say so myself. Yeah. The subjects that I did for fourth year were maths, English, music, RE, German, business, Modern studies. I feel so awkward right now. <laughs> when I started fourth year, I didn't really feel like exams were happening. I kind of went into a denial, I guess, about the fact that I would be sitting exams. But they, they swung around. They, they come. Doesn't matter if you ignore the fact that they're going to be here or not. They come. Okay. Five tips for your national fives. Okay, tip number one is do your assignments, do them as soon as possible, do them as soon as you get them. The assignment is something like 30% of your mark for some subjects, if not even more, and you can do that before you've even went into the exam hall. And knowing that you've put out a good assignment just takes a weight off your shoulders, really, to go into the exam. So just do it. Please, just do the assignments. Tip number two, if you are doing a language for National 5, learn your vocab when you are told to learn your vocab. Just learn them. Just learn them because by the time the exam comes, you will have to do less revision. You will not have to try and cram every German or French or Spanish word into your head and just learn a whole language if you just learn your vocab every week. Tip number three. Do not stress about prelims. Try your best on prelims, it's your trial run at your exam, but when people say that prelims are always harder than the exam, they're telling the truth. If you fail a prelim or do really bad in a prelim, it is not the end of the world. Do not stress yourself out. I mean, use it as motivation to study through exam leave and get the exam result that you want. Prelims are just a trial run. Yes, they mean something, but if you fail them, it is not the end of the world. But I'm not telling you not to try your prelims. You should try your hardest for, the, for your prelims. But I'm just saying, if you don't do as well as you thought you were going to do, don't panic about it. Tip number four. Stay organised. Get millions of pens that are all different colours and highlighters and everything and organise everything into folders or binders or get those puka pads. It will help so much when it comes to revision time. If you stay organised throughout the year, it will help so much when you come to revise before your exams. You won't have to stress about organising yourself or what you need to learn. It will all be there in front of you. Tip number five. Speak to your teachers. Speak to them. They are there to teach. You will be helped by your teachers. If you just ask, if you need help, just ask. Your teachers are there to teach you and help you and support you throughout your exam. I had great teachers this year and I could honestly see that I could go and speak to any one of them about any problems that I had. And I did go and speak to all of them about problems that I had at different times and they all supported me and they all did great and it paid off clearly in my exam results. <laughs> the chances are that sometimes in life Things won't go exactly according to plan and sometimes that time is exam results time. 
and your exam results come through the door or you get your email or your text and you're disappointed. If that does happen, I want to remind you that your exam results do not define you as a person. There's always going to be time to fix it. Even after you've left school, you can go back and sit more exams if you really wanted to. I hope you enjoyed Be The Day 4 and I hope that everyone's exam results were as they wanted them to be. And if they're not, remember that your exam results do not define you. Bye.